I recently flew from Mumbai to Dubai on Emirates Airlines and I was served this delicious mushroom and chickpea curry. It was so amazing that as soon as I got home, I knew I had to research this recipe and try it out for myself. And after trying this a few times, I think I finally perfected it and now I'm ready to share it with you. Hi everyone, I'm Karen Ahmed and today I'm going to show you how to make a mushroom and chickpea curry. It's also known as Dingri Chole. As always, before I begin to cook my recipe, I have all of my ingredients prepared. I've chopped my onions, my chilies, I prepared my garam masala and I've got everything ready to go. In this recipe, I'm going to use two tomatoes. One of them I'm just going to chop up really fine, but the other one I'm going to blanch in some hot water. Now the best way to do this is to make a little cross where the stem touches the fruit and I'm going to immerse that in some boiling hot water. Minutes later you're going to see the skin start to tear away from the fruit and all you have to do then is take the tomato, cool it and puree it. I'm going to use this in the recipe because it's going to give the recipe a lovely creaminess. Let's start cooking. I've got my oil heated up and I'm going to saute two medium red onions that I've chopped really fine. I've taken some time to chop these up really fine because I want to make sure that the gravy is quite thin. I'm also going to add three green chilies that I've chopped and I'm going to saute that till the onions have started to sweat. Next, I'm going to add one finely chopped tomato and I'm going to mix it well. I'm also going to add some spices, a teaspoon of turmeric powder, also known as haldi, as well as a teaspoon of chili powder. If you want to reduce the heat in your curry, you can reduce the amount of chili powder. I'm going to incorporate this well and then I'm going to add one teaspoon each of ginger and garlic paste. I'm going to mix that in as well. And then I'm going to add two teaspoons of garam masala. Now you can pretty much get garam masala in any store, but I strongly believe that the intense flavor comes from roasting this garam masala and grinding it fresh. I recently made a batch and I will show you how to make this garam masala. It's really, really easy. Stay tuned till the end of the video and I'm going to put a link there for you to make your own garam masala. After I've added the garam masala, I'm going to give it a good mix and then I'm going to add the tomato that I pureed as well as some salt. I'm going to mix it up and I'm going to add about a cup of water. I'm going to cover this and let it cook for a little bit. I want all the little pieces of tomato and onions to get really mushy so that when I open it up again, it's really easy for me to squish it down with the back of my spoon. Next, I'm going to add garbanzo beans. I'm using the canned variety because it's so convenient. If you like, you can soak dried garbanzo beans or chickpeas overnight and simply boil it in a pressure cooker. I'm going to add about 300 grams of these straight into my curry. And then I've got 10 mushrooms that I've just sliced in half. And I'm going to add these into my curry as well. I'm going to cover it and I'm going to check on it at intervals. I want to make sure that the mushrooms are well incorporated in the gravy. Add a little bit more water as you go, as the mixture dries up. And finally, add some chopped coriander. And it's ready to eat. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as I love it. Please stay tuned for more recipes. Visit my channel and I will see you again. Take care. Bye.